The next technique is heel-toe and oblique standoff. Due to anisotropy, the deeper that your needle is uh, heading into the tissue, the more hypoechoic or anechoic it will appear on the screen and harder to visualize. What you can do is then drop the probe side, which is closest to the needle, so that you are more parallel with the needle directly underneath it. If you can't manipulate the tissue by pushing down on the tissue and bending it, you can add a bunch of ultrasound gel under the high side so that you maintain contact with ultrasound gel the whole time. The screen on the right shows what this looks like. As you stop the oblique approach, you'll see the needle become more hypochoic and anechoic so you can't even see it. And as you then use the oblique approach, it becomes very hyperechoic and easier to see. Next we'll discuss needle enhancement. Many machines will use technologies such as beam steering or compound imaging to make the needle show up brighter on the screen. The screen on the left shows an injection using standard ultrasound imaging. However, the screen on the right shows what that same injection looks like using compound imaging. You'll notice that the needle on the right is much brighter, much more hyperechoic, and easier to see. 